Hello, Virgo. We are moving here into a bonus reading, okay? So, bonus readings are a little bit different and yet the same, okay? General, roles can be reversed, okay? Um, I could pick, be picking up on the situation ship, okay? Oliver could be nesting. Um, could maybe just not resonate at all. And then as well, I do a different layout, okay? This is a little bit more like the way I read for my personals, all right? So what more do we need to know here, okay, about Virgo, all right? Where are you moving? What direction? How can we pull on, all right, this beautiful energy of the Piscean moon. To see what's going on, okay? Okay, I feel like you are very pulled back, all right? Definitely highly reflecting on what has happened, how you want to move forward, and you're putting it out there to the universe, okay? Universe, with the power of this beautiful moon energy and all of the magic, okay, could you please make it be divine timing and bring forth love to me? Okay, give me answers, give me clarity, give me peace. Because you're still very uncertain about the direction that you've gone, okay? But what you truly know is that you don't want someone that is held back, emotionally detached, and not giving you your full worth, okay? Like, you're like, no, I'm done with that, and it doesn't serve me, and I refuse to go there, okay? So you're not quite, okay, to the end of the journey, okay? Definitely not with the healing, okay? Because... It came out that you are still trying to work through a lot of the energies and the negative um, emotions that came up with this past relationship, okay? You're hiding your heart. You're healing your heart, okay? You've taken your heart out of the equation. And the truth is, is that the universe can't give you what you desire when you are asking for heart and refusing to open up to heart, all right? Now, I feel like this is one of those cases of wishing words, all right? You're saying, I'm wishing for exactly X, Y, Z to show up. But in your heart of hearts, you want this person to return, all right? Like you want a reconciliation, but not necessarily with this physical being, okay, but with the person you fell in love with, okay, you want the vision of what you fell in love with to come forward, okay, and so what that's doing is you're not being able to move on, all right, you're staying in this codependent state where you are fighting against okay, the rebirth, fighting against the transition here. And until you move through that, love cannot come forward. But love is on the horizon. You can see it's in the 5D right now, and that this is a slow moving energy towards you, but it can't move towards you until you start doing this very healing work, okay?
Yeah, part of the problem is this person hasn't completely moved on. All right, it's still, you're still weary from this because this person is in and out, okay? In and out of your life. You start feeling good. You start feeling like you fix things. And then they come back, okay? It, um, <laughs> they're showing me a boomerang. You're like, wait a minute, I, f I threw you away. <laughs> what are you doing here, okay? And your heart can't heal because every time this person comes back, it rekindles this little bit of hope in you, okay, that there is love. And then the heartbreak kind of washes back over you. I feel like this person, okay, I feel like there's some sort of third party. <laughs> and there's the alarm. <laughs> I think that that was the alarm for you. Third party. Woo, okay. Uh, be aware, red flag, okay? So there is some sort of third party. And so this person is definitely splitting their time between you and someone else. All right. So you're very entangled, okay? You're, you're kind of lost in what to do with all of this. But again, the universe is saying, listen, this is a cycle you need to end. But we are not going to end it for you, okay? You've got to get off of this on your own, all right? And until you let go of, okay, all of this nostalgic energy, the Page of Cups is not coming forward into the 3D. you think that you can control this. There's a part of you that believes that you can control your heart. If you've taken your heart out of the equation, that you are going to control if you get hurt by this person. All right. But that's untrue because it's adding all of this extra stress, okay, to your plate. <coughs> Someone needs to hear this. It's putting you out of balance. I do feel like you're, you know, perhaps with this full moon, do a good meditation, um, release things. I feel like there's a breakthrough coming, okay? And you're going to realize that you think you've let go and you haven't, all right? You're going to realize that you can't leap forward um, into anything else because you're stuck in this stagnant energy, and that it's time for you to deal with this mind fuckery, okay? It's time for you to um, remove all the bandages and just get raw and real and truthful with yourself so that you can work through this and release everything that is not serving you in order to really bring like this full healing to your being. So let's see a little bit of what is unseen to you, okay? Okay, um, you thought that this being forever with this person meant that forever was a pair, <laughs> okay? And what you found was that for your person, forever is a trifecta, okay? And so 
that was really hard for you to deal with. And you may even have tried to let this person convince you that none of that was happening. All right. And even when this person, okay, and you had this emotionally detached situation, okay, you were like, I'm free of this person, I've walked away, and you were still being very anchored to them, okay, you were very, still being very connected to them, and you may have even started telling yourself that this was a divine connection, okay, because this person, you're like at a cellular level, like, they are so fulfilling to me. However, I don't believe this is your, I mean, this is definitely not your one and only divine counterpart. And if you believe in twin flames, okay, I believe that yours, your twin flame is waiting, okay, alone waiting for you to show up. Okay, you're over here with someone else. They're over here alone, waiting for you to release yourself from this. And the only way to do that, okay, is to release the darkness. Release the darkness, get all of this toxicity out of your system. Like, um, this is major, okay, toxicity within this relationship. And allow all of these towers, all of this stuff to come up and heal your inner child, okay? Allow yourself to release all of this burden that's not even yours, that you've been carrying around forever, and just let things go, okay? thing is that you've got a lot of fear, okay? A lot of fear associated with this. Okay, you feel like you're trapped, okay? Or it is just that you, like, you can't completely leave this person, all right? And so for you, it feels like this waiting game of waiting for them to come back around, waiting for them to come back around, okay? But again, this is mental cruelty that you're dealing with with this person, and it disrupts you on a cellular level, okay? It doesn't dis just dis disrupt like your life, it disrupts your entire being. You may be feeling this, this burden physically, like holding on to things, um, physically feeling that pain and burden. Once you release it, all right, once you heal your inner child, okay, you're going to find a beautiful harvest waiting for you. And that's what this moon, this full moon is about, is harvesting, okay? You need to open up to other alliances, other partnerships out there. Because otherwise what happens is that you're all alone. Without turning to friends and family and other people and going out and having fun, you're all alone. And with that disconnect, okay, where you're, you're not content, you're bored, you're um, in this bubble, all right? And you start reflecting and thinking back on everything and that just brings you up in your head, all right? And that's not going to help you in any way. Okay. So... Advice moving forward. Okay, start creating a new. Okay. 
Um, when you start creating a new, start looking at new patterns, developing new ideas throughout the fall, okay, you're going to find this whole different adventure. Spirit is saying that they will guide you. You will see signs. You will know the direction to go. And this will bring forward a brand new beginning. And with the, this birth card, it's like the Empress. And we've got the Empress over here as well. So for some of you, this could mean a connection that's going to bring forth, okay, a birth. And you need to know that in order to find this happiness, you had to go through the darkness. Okay, you had to go through the darkness. You had to be um, aligned through this walk with the moon in order to be able to see the sun. Okay. Okay, this is all leading you when you open up your heart, okay? This is leading you to a completely different life, okay? It's going to lead you to your life's purpose, all right? And um, you're going to feel like you're alive, perhaps, for the first time, but your whole chakra system, okay, is going to open up in a way that it hasn't happened in the past, To get there, there's going to be a lot of provoking and a lot of triggers. Okay, body remembers trauma. And I feel like this relationship that you have moved, that you are moving on from, okay, that you should move on from, which is your choice, okay? All free will. It provokes you and it's a provoking energy here because, all right, it's meant to open you up and heal you, releasing all of this toxic patterning um, because, all right, 47, 4 plus 7, that's 11. That's one of my twin flame soulmate numbers because you need that to move forward, okay? You need that to heal. Divine Feminine, you are being called to rise up, okay? Whether you are the flower or the honeybee, all right? You're being guided to find your inner beauty, to find that inner um, space within you that can rise up and become something so much greater, so much more loving and connected. And so whether you are the masculine or the feminine, okay, when you come together, it will be a blissful union that creates something beautiful and sweet and light and summery and happy, okay? Rather than all of this darkness within. So I hope that this bonus gave you um, a little bit more understanding and inner knowing about the direction that you are going and um, just to let you know that you are beautiful, that you are worthy, you are loving, okay, you are lovable and that um, you have so much more to offer than you have given yourself credit for, all right? So I hope that this helps you guys and thank you for all the loving contributions to get this bonus. And I hope to see you guys on your regular Thursday reading. Okay. All right. Bye.